Okay, so I've I've figured out that copper uh, draws out the positive current in the ground, and uh, the magnesium draws out the negative current in the ground. Um, so what I've done here is I had a, a whole bunch of uh, carbon fiber, um, just little short bits, uh, and you know only. Um, you know, 150 mils long or so. Um, so I figured what I would do, um, because carbon also draws out the positive current, um, I wrapped it. I wrapped it in a piece of uh, bare copper wire. Um, and I've created this big long loop of uh, carbon fiber and copper wire. And I'm going to bury that in a straight line uh, under here somewhere, and uh, and use that um, and see what sort of current we get off that. Okay, I've done some more testing with my earth battery. Um, I originally I made the string of carbon fibre there and I laid it facing uh, north south um, along with my. Um, magnesium rods were facing north south as well and I didn't actually get that big of an increase of amperage um, I, I'd only I'd only went to about 2.6 milliamps um, so I swapped everything around um, and I laid the uh, the carbon fiber uh, uh, west east um, from west to east and then I did the same with the magnesium rods, I laid them out east to west um, and now I'm getting a current uh, an amperage of 3.3 milliamps um, so I found that kind of interesting um, I still think uh, surface area is key uh, as far as the magnesium goes